Hi everyone. Hi. Welcome to Physics 67th meeting. Today is the 7th of August and today actually is the second session of the 67th Physics meeting because we had the first session prior to this on the 2nd of August, not 3rd, although it was reported on the 3rd. And we had Walt Jenkins speaking on the 3rd that is the first that was the first session of the 67th physics meeting because he can't make it today he's traveling so we had to do that prior to and did the pre-recording which i will play very quickly and i'll show you where to get it before we have the whole time uh doing the bubble tech with mike emery in attendance and uh, supervising <laughs> whilst james rink of uh, super soldier talk.com does the um, the uh, the uh, bubble tech workshop uh, of course you know james is uh, one of the founder members of physique as well <laughs> and we have uh, 20 something people in attendance and when we call the last minute meeting well, like last minute hardly any notice on the 2nd of august when walt could make it to make the first session we were very lucky and then we want to thank everyone because there were about 15 people jumping into the meeting room even with hardly any notice and thank you so much everyone who joined in then uh, so now i would like to very quickly um well, do the usual stuff like sharing screen and this is our physics website is truevisionapiece.com and uh, forward slash physic.html and this is where our website is and if you go to the um, to the top right hand corner of your browser of, of this web page you will see youtube so you click on youtube and it will bring up our youtube channel but anyway, since we're on the website, just to scroll down and show you very quickly, this is an announcement of Walt Jenkins' talk. And uh, if you click on this, how will you mouse over? It takes you to the Zoom code and everything so you can join the meeting. And uh, he actually has a website that is linked here as well. If you hover your mouse over Walt Jenkins, it takes you to his website, H2G Clean Fuel, which will be a game changer because it's the uh, thing that is going to turn the tables on the uh, the, the fossil fuel uh, cartel. All right, so there you go. Well, we see, it and you watch it on the YouTube. Right, so that's Walt Jenkins because he he is the inventor of the um, um, the H2 global inventions and products there that they could actually even power. Uh, vehicles by making t turning energy from the air into fuel into into yeah to power energy and to power the vehicles and here today we have the second session um, with Mike Emery uh, supervising James on making the bubble tech workshop and of course we have ongoing activities in physics every Monday uh, Pontus who's the head of the buoy marine motor generator project is uh, heading the R&D team in um, perfecting the uh, uh, well, you know, the the device, the device that we will be, once it's done properly and all that, of course, we'll be teaching and open sourcing it to all who cares to learn, right? So if you scroll down, you will see all the meeting reports here, all the links and the pictures of the speakers. And then scroll down further, you will see the uh, uh, the YouTube videos and of course you see us the executive council here lined up and the call for meeting link is there and if you click on this it takes you to the video links as well but the quickest way is to click on youtube and then you will see then our youtube channel and you will see walt jenkins video so if i were to click on this now yeah oh you can't hear it right so okay so anyway it doesn't matter i'm not going to take off my uh, my headset you can't hear it but this is just to show you walt jenkins uh, presentation very quickly yeah and it's amazing because this 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 presentation is very well substantiated with uh, like the uh, hollywood standard kind of presentation because walt jenkins has a background 
in uh, inventing the world's first moving week for uh, Hollywood movie productions. He's, he's quite an inventor, extraordinaire. And do go into our YouTube channel and look up this video. So he's actually um, H2 Global, is, his company is actually coming out with the water fuel bus tours throughout uh, the whole of USA without stopping for fuel because they can just zap the energy from from the air to convert it into fuel to run the uh, uh, the vehicle. It's pretty amazing. Right, so okay, I'm going to take this away now so we can then go into the second session that is today's. Uh, okay, but I'm going to okay, uh, share screen again, sorry, because uh, the PowerPoint presentation has to, I have to show you the agenda. Mm, share screen, share. Okay, so, um, uh, okay, quick, uh, 67th physics meeting agenda. We have uh, uh, the first session done, okay. Uh, H2G, clean fuel can run internal combustion engines powering ships at sea from seawater, trucks, and planes by moisture condensed from the air. And the second session, that is today a live workshop by James Rink on the making of the organic bubble tech supervised by its developer, Mike Emery, the top quantum physicist with his supporters, those who made them and experienced miracles. So let's make the organ bubble tech today. And after this meeting, then we will then adjourn to the 68th physics meeting on the 4th of September. So do pen that down in your diary and join us again. Right? Okay, so that's it. I'm going to stop sharing now. And write to me, crystal at truevisionofpeace.com if you have any questions about Walt Jenkins' presentation when you watch the video. Right, so uh, I had introduced Mike in the last uh, video or so, and of course he's he's fantastic. I mean, he's brilliant because he's in the top one tenth of the one percenter of uh, well, did you say Mike? Eight million uh, scientists, researchers, inventors. Eighty-seven million, it's ridiculous. Eighty-seven million of this. Uh, academia.edu community with 27,000 universities worldwide? 12,000, wasn't it? Anyway, 12,000, 12, I think. 12,000, oh, sorry. Okay, yeah. <laughs> right. So there you are, Mike. Would you just say a few things about, or would you like to introduce your organic bubble tech, which is miraculously helping a lot of people all over the world? Yeah, uh, the... The orgon or organic, we had to make up a new word because the U.S. Uh, Federal Regulatory Commission is saying that Wilhelm Reich's technology, which is based on capacitance, is capable of producing radiation when, in fact, it's the other way around. What 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 the what the organic material does is absorb all forms of radiation and convert it to life force energy and and that's what the bubble does when you're when you you set up one of these organic devices and touch particularly a tesla violet ray wand to it you can feel it in your heart and all over your body and as soon as you can feel it and feel that euphoria then any wishes that you make in euphoria are made ultimately made manifest, but everything's done in the now. now and you know, and when because it's using capacitance in a capacitance field, there's no cycles per second, there's no frequencies, no electromagnetic vibrations in between the plates of a capacitance field, and uh, uh, and so there's no cycles per second. That means there's no seconds, which means no time or all time. It's seed level. Everything that you see is conceived in darkness, starts at seed level. Uh, it does that every microsecond. I, I, you know, everything blinks in and blinks out every microsecond and goes, and goes through a, a, quite a, a number of electromagnetic sequences of events in order to become matter. 
uh, which I'm very aware of, and, and most people should be. It's really simple. But that's not the point of this thing, you know, is, is the physics behind it. The, uh, the most important point is numbers of bubbles. These, these bubbles, the energy from these bubbles, when they link up, the entire area becomes magical. And you get a number of bubbles in an area, and the, the shimmers, the, the atmosphere shimmers, everything goes fuzzy, and you get the healings. And you know, ultimately, we'll have a bubble set up, so you, you walk in, get healed. That's it. You know, that's, sooner or later, we'll have that. We're, we're working on that very, very diligently with the most advanced uh technology that we've got in bubbles is really quite amazing you know what's happening you know and it's all open source people are adding in uh you know technology that they've discovered that uh, for example one that now that's coming forward is using Keshe's gans to and, and mixing that with uh, resin and it creates a plastic that is impregnated with GANS, like it's organic, you know. Well, when it's impregnated with GANS, what it, what it will do, and what it does do, is it'll make energy, electricity. Uh, the GANS is uh, made of Keshe, if anybody knows Keshe. Uh, he, he's got to be one of the most brilliant guys that ever existed because he's protecting this very, very simple technology with a whole bunch of BS physics, you know, <laughs> you know, but what he's got is real, and uh, and so the microtubules in the Keshe's GANs quite literally harvest electrons out of the air and convert them. the The microtubules are superconducting, and so the the electric uh, you know the electrons are converted to photons. If you know superconductivity, it's not electricity that flows, it's light photons. And, uh, uh, and so the, the photons flow in the GANs, and that's like force energy is 2D, what do you know what I call, 2D energy versus 3D. Uh, 2D energy is light force energy. And the same thing with the, you know, obviously in the capacitance field, if you got no, uh, no vibrations, then you, you, don't, you, you, don't, you don't have anything that you would consider to be 3D, you know, everybody, thinks of everything that you see is vibrating. Yes, it is, but it's also spinning. You know? And uh, but so if you got no vibrations and you got nothing that's emitting any vibrations, you got nothing. <laughs> or everything. <laughs> and and that and that's the case, you know, you're at seed level in the capacitance field. And and so that's two D, it's two D energy. And so it is the electrons that are three D because they have, they're polarized. That's the other thing about 2D, there's nonpolar. Uh, and so the, and they become a photon, which is nonpolar, and that's life force energy, and it flows through the, uh, uh, the, the, uh, the GANS material. And it, well, what, what happens is the electrons saturate the uh, microtubule, and then the, 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 the photons, and they, they have to go out the other end, you know, towards you or, or towards whatever it is. In this case, it'll be used to power a bubble permanently. You know, we'll be able to make this uh, just a little pad in a, in a bubble piece and power it permanently. And it'll be a few days. It's not, the, the technology is not completely finished. And when it is finished, it'll be posted on bubble tech and anybody can do it. It's really simple. Uh, that, that's the thing about bubble tech is it is predetermined. It's in the Bible code. And it's really simple. It's sandbox 101. It does. It can get a little bit complicated, but in general, it's sandbox 101. And uh, uh, that it is that we designed this sandbox operation to save the planet and ch well, actually, change the entirety of creation. And that's happening. Uh, changing the entirety of creation to the point that the, the color spectrum is now changing. And the, the way it's changing, you, you can see, it is due to capacitance. You now, because it's, it's making it simpler, the color spectrum has become, the red is going, is turning to black. Uh, 
green is turning to light purple. The, the piezoelectric green, the heart chakra, is turning to light purple, which is euphoric. And this is happening now. You can look, it's all over the world. Now, uh, now is that due to bubble tech? It could be because I don't know how many bubbles we have. Uh, there's 3,000 people on bubble tech. There's a 20% rule, you know, ants, flies, uh, the, the, the termites. There's 20% of the whole crew in, in humans that actually do things and the rest are along for the ride. Mm -hmm. Mike. So we got 3,000 folks on bubble tech, so that means at least 200 bubbles. They all go infinite. And, and, uh, and well, for example, my bubble here uh, called Martha is one of the first ones. That, I think it's the third one ever, and it's been going since May. The chemtrails disappear right behind the airplanes as far as you can see, and that, which means that it's cleaning the air and the water and the plants and the animals and the soil you know, it's in the same direction as far as you can see because the matter doesn't really exist. It's all just consciousness. And this field is smaller. You know, it's the root field, the seed field, we're down at seed level. And the seed level is everywhere. <laughs> you know, from the center of the earth to, to the center of the universe. You know? and, uh, and we can actually attain those types of awarenesses too with bubble tech bubble tech you win will well it confers you do bubble tech with other people it confers telepathy people become telepathic uh the way we install intentions is done intentionally telepathically uh you know without talking and and people that work together see the same things and feel the same feelings there's some of us, one of the first ones we did, there's some guys who are very highly, they're good meditators. We were sending healing to the bottom of Mariana's Trench. We all three went there. And at really high pressure and a huge, uh, you know, life force energy. And we looked around at each other. Oh, this feels great. <laughs> you know, being at the bottom of Mariana's Trench. And it must be. Because it's 50 times more polluted than a dead Chinese river down there, doing PCBs that have gone down there. And it hasn't affected anything very much. <laughs> They're still just doing fine. It's phenomenal. But the beauty is that by a bubble tech, we can expunge it. The, uh, you know, we, uh, well, we can reach it. There's no question. And uh, uh, it's just a function of intention going down there like we did and asking for it to be cleaned. It may have happened already. The thing about bubble tech is that, they, you know, you ask for something, you'd be surprised how quick it happens. And look at you. You got younger. <laughs> yeah, that's that. So, yeah. Okay, I, I just want to share screen a bit here because I want you to see that, uh, okay, the, the video, the first video here is Walt Jenkins. The second one here on our YouTube channel is uh, Mike Emery's talking about the bubble tech. Okay, and you can see, I mean, I can't, I can't zoom in, but you can see that before the bubble tech, he was like having some wrinkles on his forehead and face was a bit uh, saggy. But now look at him. I mean, he's like 15 years younger. Oh, that's pretty amazing. But if I click on it, it will disappear. But anyway, it's all there. So this is the video, but I'm going to stop sharing now. <laughs> you can't see much there. Yeah, Mike? I mean, even James, when he started making it, he was so excited. He caught me up and says, hey, I can actually become more telepathic right now and then, <laughs> and uh, be able to, what did you say, more, more clairvoyant? Yeah, James? Anyway, yeah. back to you, Mike. Uh, yeah, well, well, I've noticed that I've been... Um, thinking of somebody and next thing you know they call wow. or uh recently I, I just thought about this lady that uh, recently died i think you know who this person is um miles johnson talked about her so uh yeah i, I think uh, it does connect you to that energy field that we're all connected to mm. wonderful fun. james i am so excited so that's why we're all here together today to learn how to make the bubble tag yeah. <laughs> mike is there Anything else you want to add to it before James starts the club? Well, I, uh, I think I kind of covered, you know, the, uh, yeah, let's do it. Let's get on with what James is doing. 
what's the latest miracles that's coming into your that's flooding in uh, from your all, followers? All you, got, all you got to do is look on Bubble Tech. I'll, I'll, I'll open it up right now and I'll tell you. Okay. Yeah, J James. Meantime, uh, if you would, uh, if you would tell me what you got there in the way of ingredients, please. Sure. So, um, of course, I'm building mine from plaster of Paris. So I've got plenty of plaster here. And then um, I'm going to be mixing that with a little bit. Of course, I'm going to need water, and then I'm going to mix that with some glue. Normally, I would. What kind of water? A what Trust kind of water? Uh, well, I just have I just have regular tap water, but I can I can get something fancier if, if that would help. Oh yeah, absolutely. Get the best possible water. Okay, uh, sure. Um, I got some in the kitchen. I can go grab real quick. But this um, this right here is diatomaceous earth, and uh, according to Mike, this is thirty percent ormus. So it's a really cheap and expensive way to get access to some ormus. Is it by? I mean, I mean, I know this this is food grade, but. If you were to eat it, would you actually get 30% content ormus, or is it like all binded up of other compounds, Mike? No, the, the ormus, uh, it, the, the uh, DE is, a, is a quite a good delivery system for ormus. You know, the, 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 well, I can go into the source of the ormus that's in DE if you're interested. But, uh, yeah, little, well, I'll, I'll do it real quick. Else. The diatomaceous earth is diatoms. It's uh, freshwater or saltwater diatoms that congregated in a lagoon you know they're teeming in in a lagoon and the volcano went off and the in the volcanic ash which has the white powder gold in it came down and killed them all at the same time and then it makes these white deposits and the reason it's white because the white powder gold is that it's white and it's all of the precious elements gold silver platinum palladium rhodium rhodium osmium in what the physicists call a high spin state and the and all living things have this stuff in it, the ormus material, that is not spectrographically analyzable. Science can't look at it with their normal, uh, you know, observation devices like neutron activation or uh, any number of ways that you do spectrographic analysis. That none of them will read ormus material because it's two D. Now, what, what happens is you, you, they strike it like a bell to get the, what they call a Raman shift, which is a um, the color spectrum that goes off at right angles to the uh, uh, bell striking, whatever it may be, nu neutron activations, for example, uh, where they quite literally fire neutrons at the, at the material that they want to read, and that activates it to send out the things at right angles. The, the Ormus is in, is in 2D. So when they do that to Ormus, what they get is either whole light, which is unreadable, or nothing, <laughs> depending on which way it's oriented towards them. You know? I mean, it really is 2D. 2D is important to understand, because that's what we're getting into. And Ormus material is 2D material. And, and so all living things have it in it. The diatoms have it in it. The, uh, the volcanic ash that fell on the diatoms have it in it. So DE is about the, 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 the content of calves and pigs brain is of uh, ormus material is five percent by weight you know and so the whole body is about that also you know and in in some of these things like uh, aloe vera there's much higher concentration of the ormus material that is encapsulated in uh, uh in proteins and in, inside the and and quite literally provide the superconducting energy the light of life that we create directly with the with the bubble, you know, we we create it directly. It's phenomenal. You know, all of this ties together, and this is why we put DE in the bubble because it produces life force energy, and in 2D it, it literally broadcasts. We by putting it in the bubble, you, you're you're broadcasting DE the the spirit of DE to you and manifesting it inside of you. They're inside of everything around around you. The, you know, the image just goes wherever. It's infinite. You know, and it can be. And it, anyway, it's, this is big time stuff. What we're doing, seed level, whatever you put in at seed level is going to get broadcast significantly, normally infinitely. And eventually when all these bubbles tie up, uh, you know, and they are broadcasting infinitely now, but when they all tie up in a stronger feedback method, 
you know, we'll go into dream time. The whole planet will go into dream time. We just need a large number of bubbles, like what Jim's making here. Sorry. How many, how many bubbles have you got, Mike? Huh? Stark at Randy has got made her seventh bubble tech. What about you? How many have you got at home? Oh, five. five. Uh, but uh, she she's ahead of everybody, I think, in the distillation process. Mm -hmm. You know, I just wrote an essay on the distillation process. It's quite important the distillation process. But that's 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 advanced uh, uh, bubble making, I'd say. And what and we don't we really don't actually need that. What Jim is about to do is is about all anybody needs to do, except for getting when we're gonna we're gonna, eventually we're gonna get a bubble piece that bubbles without the violet ray wand and w without anything. You know, it bubbles on its own. Mm -hmm. we, we we have done that with other a lot. It takes a lot. You know, with honeycombs, the nano coated material. It's a lot. It's expensive and a lot of work. Right. Yeah. This is James' second bubble tech. You will help him with the latest developments. You help him mm -hmm. guide guide him. To well, it is, uh, it, we, we, the, the latest developments aren't available to him right now. He needs he would need resin and GANs, which is you know GANs is is you know is a little bit complex to make. You know GANs, Cassius GANs, Cassius GANs. Yeah. Well, we all have Cassius GANs. James, have you got Cassius, Cassius Jim, GANs? Steve? Yeah, I've got some GANs. Yeah, there you go. We all okay. Have well, here's how you do it. You yeah. mix, mix, you mix the uh, the plasma water with uh, uh, resin, and it takes it takes a while, and and you and you put the hardener in at the same time, and you wind up with a with a gooey with a plastic, you know, uh, that you can shape in in little, and you put you make one of those and put it on. Well, you can do this after after we build this, we might as well build this. You can make one of these and put it on that, and it'll it's supposed to bubble it indefinitely. Well, very definitely uh, impart uh, mm -hmm. electricity, you know, life force energy to the bubble, you know, because of the microtubule thing, like I explained earlier. Right. So, oh, okay. you can read, folks. I just want you to know that you can uh, read about, and you can read Mike's writings in uh, academia.edu. If you go to physics website and you hover your mouse over Mike Emery's name and click on it, it will take you to his Facebook or his website or the sites that he had been posting his writings to. And that way you can get all his writings. Okay. Somebody asked a question there about Cassius Gans. They didn't quite get it. You see it? Pontus, you see, you want to read it? How, how about the pow powder of the Keshe's Gans? I guess con con concentrated powder. Oh yeah, uh, we, yeah. The powder, the powder you can use. You can you can put the powder in the goodies. And you can put yeah. the liquid as well, right? The liquid. Yeah, right. Or you can put the liquid either. Yeah. Right. So, do you want to okay. start the workshop now, James? Yeah. Let's let's continue here. All right. So. Like I said, diatomaceous earth. Um, I'm also going to put in some, of course, the magnet, mag, magnite or magnetite. Uh, so I got, I've got like five pounds of this stuff. Is magnetite um, the same as iron oxide? Oh well, it's definitely got iron oxide in it. Okay. Um, do you have any sand? Uh, I do, but it's outside. Yeah, go get that actually, sand, you know Actually, I, got, I do have a little bit of sand. Do, do I need a lot of sand or a little bit? No, just a little bit. Okay. Uh, you know, a, a cup full. Okay. It's funny. Half a cup full is funny. This is going to make our goodies with this. And being plaster, the, when the plaster sets up, it shrinks like resin does. And it, it, it'll shrink on this, on the, on this sand. It's a, this is going to be a really good bubble. Mike, you were saying the last meeting, during the last meeting, you were saying that it's better to use cement than than uh, plaster, cement and sand. Yeah, it's it's yeah because the, the cement itself is organic, meaning that it's a um, calcium silicate is the you know is the it's a chemical reaction, and uh, when cement sets up and 
the, what produces a calcium silicate. The calcium is conductive in the silicate, so it's silicone, uh, it's a uh, you know, semiconductor. And uh, um, so the concrete all by itself, you touch a violet ray wand to, uh, particularly an old piece of concrete, mm -hmm. and it will bubble up straight away, just bam, it's really amazing. Some, some old pieces of concrete are more powerful than our bubble pieces. <laughs> you said the okay. older the better. <laughs> Okay, you got your sand. Cool. I've got some sand, so we're good on that. Oh, wow, cool. Um, I also I want to I'm going to put some activated charcoal, mm -hmm. uh, which is really a form of GANS itself. Mm -hmm. um, and then I've got some different crystals. I've already worked on a coil, so I don't know if you can see that, but uh, just wrap some quartz crystal. Uh, well, you, you, you put that inside of it, then you want to put that inside of it. That'd be good to go inside of it. Yeah, and I'm gonna. I'm, and some of it's gonna actually come out because uh, I'm gonna put the the violet wand on the the piece that comes out. So I have to figure out. What that's you have, have a, a, a steel wool or, or a, a, a scrubby, you know, copper scrubby. Do you have some insulated wire? Uh, no, I don't have any of that. I did buy some, but I didn't get in time. Um, I do have some copper pieces. This is copper foil. Mm -hmm. Okay. But I went ahead and cut this up. Uh, I'm going to put that in there. Yeah. Um, and then I'm also going to put in some amethyst. Yeah. If you, you ground it up, it should be powdered. You know, all the crystals, everything should be powdered. We yeah. want the smallest of everything. We, we work at seed level. I don't have a file for that, but I can find a really small piece. Yeah, this, just, for just, yeah you only need one, just the very smallest piece, you only need one. Okay, so this is lapis, yeah. and then this is shungite. Okay, shungite, you can have more than one piece of that, you know, uh, you know like two or three pieces. Yeah, and this is the elite shungite. I get that from, uh, I guess that comes from the Ukraine. I had to order that. Um, and then I'm also going to put in some different type of herbs. I've got, uh, this is called, uh, I'm not, I don't know if I'm saying it right, Gia Gulan, mm -hmm. uh, which is called the immortality herb. The uh, botanical name is Genostema stemma, Penatophyllum. It's an herb native to China. It's known as Southern Ginseng. Uh, so that one, the people, the natives that drink that tea live a long time. And then I'm also going to add some some Heritaki powder. This is uh, part of Indian Ayurvedic medicine. This actually is known to detoxify your pineal gland. If you take a teaspoon a day, it'll detox it about 1% a day. So I'm going to just a little tiny bit of that. <coughs> Um, I was I was gonna put some of the C60 in there. Of course, some people don't like it, but uh, I I think it's good. Um, of course, that really all that is really just form of carbon. Uh, I got a little bit of frankincense. I'm sorry, I can't. Okay, well, get, your, uh, get get yourself a cup and put a, a, just a seed from everything that you got there in the cup. Okay. Uh, yeah, I can do that. Before, before you before you do that. What, do, you, do you have the bottom already started if you put the first layer in? Um, well, I put a piece of tape on the bottom. of the, This is a clay pot, mm -hmm. and I put some saran, saran wrap around here. And that, I do that because one, once it sets, I like to pull it out and clean the pot and put it back in to make a pot look pretty. But um, overall, but uh, yeah, so I have not put the well, bottom layer in here. You, you don't need the pot, you know, but whatever, yeah. Uh, yeah, well. I, true that I could I could always take it out of the pot. I could reuse it, um, and then I also got a little bit of honey. This is uh, raw honey. Perfect. So a little how about, bit of that. How about, how about a little monoatomic uh, gold, James? Uh, well, the Ormus has a lot of monoatomics in it. Uh, I don't. That's what I mean. De, the DE has monoatomic, right? I mean, um, I don't. I I might have some monoatomic guns, gold guns, but not very much of it. Uh, but I mean, I was just, this is just basically a, be a, a basic model. So, do you, have, uh, do, you have, do you have Gans, do you have Gans water? I've got, uh, the, the, lots of the zinc and the, uh, the copper guns. 
You want to go get some? Do you have Dan's water? Well, I mean, I can maybe try to extract it from the solution, but no, no, not not right well, the now. Gans, the GANS settles out. You know, once you make the GANS, it settles out. You know, and you, 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 there, there's, I produce Gold GANS water. I, I drink it every, all the time. All my drinks have Gold GANS water in it. Uh, mm -hmm. the, but the, um, it just, it, it, it goes forever. You know, if you have some GANS in, in, the, in a jar, you put the water in it, distilled water. And it'll cloud up, and then it settles out, and then what you got there is Gans water, you know, that you can drink. Yeah. Well, would uh, so should I put maybe like a little teaspoon of uh, Gans um, solution in there? Would that help? I can uh, get yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, you know, in the, in the in the water, in in the water. Yeah, do that now. Put that in the water that you can use. You know, get some good water. Put some uh, uh, some Gans plasma in the water and let and let it set there for a bit before we use it. So it doesn't matter which Gans, whether it's no, not really. It's all the same. It's all microtubules. Okay. Full Gans seems to be really really special though. Yeah. Cool. I've taken it. It does you know internally. It's quite amazing stuff. You know, it cleans you out. I still got plenty of Gans water. <laughs> In infinite, indefinite amount. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, you just stir it up, it settles out, the Gans never leaves. Right. So James has gone to get his Gans water. <laughs> Meanwhile, has anybody got any question? Whilst waiting for James to come back? I'm here. I. I've got a concentrate. It's got iron, copper, silver, and gold, wow. and zinc. It's just a mix. So I'm gonna just use a, I don't know, a little bit of that. There. Okay. All right. So I guess at this point I'll just start making a mess here. Just part of the fun. Yeah, you just put a little bit at the bottom to start with, you know, one layer down there. Plaster set up quite quick. That's okay. Yeah. Nope. Well, James, before you, you get make... started, Mike, I, I watch Wendy stuck at, stuck at Wendy's videos, right? She was putting the uh, the copper copper wool and uh, stick it with uh, glue on the side of the port and wire it up with the, the copper wire. Is that what James has to do as well before he wets the pot? That'd be best if he could do it. You know, if he had the insulated wire and some copper wool or seal wool or whatever, you know, to put in the bottom of it. Or just the wire itself. You don't even need the wool. All you need is a bare wire going down there in, into the organic mix. Because well, the organic I'm, mix is a conductor. Yeah, I'm going to put this in it. What is oh, cool. Yeah, right. Okay, well, that, that, that you, can connect to the, you can connect to the violet ray wand. But that's not insulated. Huh? Not insulated. That's okay. It'll still it'll it'll be still conductive. Then uh, uh, you know you won't be able to touch it. It'll give you shock. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna make like a little loop at the top, and then I'll just uh, um, uh, I'll just cut it, and then I'll just put the violet ray. Maybe like I'll loop it down here and put the violet ray at the bottom or something. But, yeah, you can. Well, you, no, you, well yeah, okay. That, all right. So at this I point, can, um, where, that, where that crystal wants to go is uh, right pointed at the goodies, okay? Because it'll 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 activate the goodies. You know, the the, the you, you take the terminate in. We put the goodies in. We put the goodies. Right in the bottom, all everything that you got, put it in a, in a in a cup. One of the smallest of everything that you got, put it in a cup, so you just have a a little a little bit of all the material is not that not even that big. Mm -hmm. well, like making a stew. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. You don't use a whole bunch of this stuff. It's not necessary. When the goodies is seeds. Well, how much diatomaceous earth earth should I put in? Just a pinch. Okay. 
Well, so I, I went ahead and put in like I put one part of this and then one part, you know, one cup of uh, of the magnetite in here. So that's about one to three. I yeah. guess. Well, you, you what, what's that for? You mean in the goodies, the, 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 if you're going to make the, the, the layer that goes on the bottom, okay, just, just mix up some plaster with that good water. Um, and I, I'm going to put some activated charcoal in it. Is that, is that what you do? Uh, you yeah, but that just goes in the goodies. You don't need a whole bunch of it. You don't need a lot. No? Okay. Have you put some plaster in, in, in the bottom of it already? Uh, no, no, that's what I'm doing now. So here's my, uh, I'm going to go ahead and put the water in here. Do I put uh, co little copper pieces on the bottom layer? Oh, uh, yeah, you put something, you know, uh, in, do you have uh, iron oxide to put in there? Uh, yeah, I got plenty of iron oxide. And how about a little bit of sand? You want some sand yeah, in here? Yeah, a little, the, yes, a little bit of sand and, uh, uh, you got quite a bit of magnetite, right? Oh yeah, I got a couple pounds of that stuff. I uh, okay. Well, well, use magnetite then. Put uh, um, a, 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 an amount equal to the sand that you just put. I already did. Yeah, I went in and put. I put a whole cup of it earlier. Well, the okay. Oh, okay. All right. So then you put a cup of sand to go with it. You know? Yeah. I'm trying to see it. Like maybe move things around so you can see a little bit oh, better. Oh, that's excellent. Oh, that's excellent. Okay, yeah, okay. mix that up and put it in the bottom if you would, please. What? Oh, yeah, go. I'm gonna go yeah, I'm, I gotta, I'm gonna mix this up. Oh, cool. Okay, it looks like I put too much water in here. But nothing I can't fix. A little bit more plaster. Some somebody asked about the size of the pot. Yeah. And yes, the size of the pot is important uh, because we are dealing with the ethers, and where we're at is in the hexagonal ethers, which run according to the Fibonacci series in size incrementally. Sorry. From. Uh, uh, Sorry, my. That's okay. From plank, from plank length all the way up to beyond the universes that mirror off beyond this one. Everything is in an etheric field. There has to be a background screen. And so we work with that background screen. And so the size of the pot is important in, in that the closer you are to being just barely filling an entire cell, etheric cell in the background screen, then you, you, you're like honey, you become eternal. The, the honey fills the, where its home is, the bee's honeycomb, is the perfect size of an ambient, naturally occurring ether. That's the, well, you can see them. It's, it's, they're very obvious. You know, if you look, the hexagonal patterns, you know, and you look at the sizes of those, and you want to be in in inside the, the edges of that ether, if, if you go beyond it, then you automatically get shunted into the next etheric size, and, and the, which leaves lots of gaps around the outside. And those gaps is where deadly orgone radiation can form, and it, it, which won't happen with a bubble. It's just that if you're really close to the, the right size of an etheric cell, then the thing pretty much bubbles on its own. Really phenomenal. I don't know if you saw that, James. The uh, um, the sizes. It's in the the best way uh, to start a bubble project. Is the best sizes. You know, nine nine inches and fifteen inches are, are a really good size. Twenty three inches. Okay, I can go get him. Go check on the side. I, it's probably uh, too now. late. Too late now. We'll we'll, we'll look at that later. Well, it wouldn't matter. Just just I had actually Wait, this hang on a minute. Let me just share screen very quickly. This is what Mike's talking about to start a bubble project. He wrote a, a long essay on it. The best way to start a bubble project, February 
2019. So if you if you um, access this one and download it from academia.edu, you will get it everything there. Uh, to answer Don's question, okay, Mike has written down the ingredients here as well. So it's all listed here, right, Mike? Yeah, couple yeah. Up and uh, all the instructions are here. So list of intentions, everything is here, right? So all you need to do is just to go to physics website and click on Mike's name. It will take you to the academia.org edu site and you can access Mike's uh, essays, all of it, right? Okay, so stop share now, James, over to you. All right, so at this point, I'm just waiting for the plaster to set. Uh, typically takes about 15 to 20 minutes. Um, now, uh, make, make up your little cup of goodies now while that's, doing, while that's happening, please. Yeah. So we're gonna do the next layer uh, of powder and stuff. Uh, so yeah, this, uh, we're gonna make, on top of this layer, right in the middle, you're gonna put the goodies, please. Now, where is that? that while it's still setting? You want what? to do it while it's setting? Yeah, I'd let, you let that set, but you, you make up the goodies in the, in, the, in the cup separate. You just take a, you know, one little, the smallest piece you can get from everything, except Shungite, you, you, make, you take three of those. <laughs> No, this is elite shungite that I got in my hand. So I'm just do. I would say probably maybe a gram. Hmm. I don't know if you can see that. The smallest, smallest, the smaller the better. Okay. Uh, this is a, this is a lapis. So I just find a really tiny piece, like you said. Hmm. Just a, you can't, I don't think you really see that. It's just a really tiny piece there. And then um, I'm gonna do one amethyst bead and they're all the same size. You might want, yeah, you might want, you can do two of them if you want. Okay. Um, and then I guess I could put a little bit of these uh, herbs in there. Is that what yeah, you would everything. do? Right near everything. there, okay. Yeah, you just, you take a, a pinch of it. All you need, the, the smaller you do it, the better. It's like homeopathy. Oh. <laughs> well, here's a, like I said, here's a little bit of Haritaki. This is probably maybe 50 milligrams. You can put some of your hair in there too, or a fingernail. Okay. I don't have any fingernails. You brought that to you forever. Okay, so here's a little bag of my hair. So I just guess a little tiny bit. Like that. And then um, I have some of this other herb. I'm just going to stick in there. This immortality herb. Wow. Cool. Okay. A bit of that. Uh, I also have a little bit of this C60 and honey, but um, I think I'll make a mess. If I stick it over here, make a, I'll, I'll probably just wait. I could maybe just put that in here now. Just put like two drops. What is it, the goo? Uh, yeah, this is a, the oil. The, have you ever used C60, Mike? Actually, actually, what, what you want to do is, is mix that with the honey and get one clear quartz crystal and put it in with them. Okay, I can do that. So here, this is the raw honey. This is the smallest quartz crystal you can find. Just a little tiny dab of honey that goes on that C60 that you just put there. Oh, okay. All right. Well, let's see. So I'm looking for a little tiny quartz crystal. Uh, actually, this one's smaller. Um, okay, so, so I got really? a, little, a little quartz crystal. Okay. And then you take you take it and stick the honey on on the, on the, the truncated end of it. If it's term, it needs one terminator, 
and then you put that, and then and then you put that in that that crystal with the honey on it. You put that in the C60. Uh, so you want me to just do a little tiny? I mean, I just like this. Not not a lot of honey, just a little bit. Just a little tiny bit. That doesn't you don't even get it on your finger. Just a little tiny bit on the very end of the crystal, and then you you put the crystal in the C60. Hey, I must interrupt a bit. I just want to welcome Stark at Wendy's here. <laughs> Perhaps with your uh, all gone bubble tech community here as well. <laughs> welcome Stark at Wendy. <laughs> so okay. Thank you to come in and join us and perhaps give some tips as well along with Mike. And I've also got some frankincense. So we'll go yeah, ahead. Just put that, yeah, just put that in there. You, well, you also, with this, with that crystal and C60 and the honey, that activated charcoal, put a little tiny bit of that in there. Okay, still a tiny bit. Yep. Now I'm going to go ahead and throw these in here. These, this is, uh, I can maybe bring this a little bit closer and see. Do you have everything in there? Your herbs and all that, your hair and all that? See it? Okay. Okay. Uh, here, here's, here's, what, here's what I'd like you to do: is take the sand. No, don't do. Don't, don't. No, 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 no. Do I put some sand in here too? So with this, take, you know, set set that down for a moment, and and take and take, <laughs> I don't know, a tablespoonful of sand and a tablespoonful of magnetite, and mix it together, in a, in a cup, and it's so that so that you can. Uh, uh, Put that right on top of that crystal that you just put there and make a bed with a pocket in it for your goodies and you put the goodies in that pocket. Okay? okay. Follow me? Yeah. So this, I've already got sand in here. This is uh, magnetite. Then throw, okay, so put all these crystals together. that okay yeah just put it you know put it in one spot you know right, right over right on top of the the crystal and the c60 okay yeah the amos this rolled out <laughs> oh star cat this is you can feel this i'm sure this is gonna blow our socks off <laughs> This is gonna this is gonna work really quite well, Jim. Okay. All right. So now I guess uh, to, to make sure I get everything else. Yeah, I guess I got. Yeah. It. Now you mix up the next layer of plaster. And okay. in in this layer, we want fines, you know, like uh, iron oxide, magnetite, and uh, um, a little bit of sand. What else? That's the main thing, you know, is uh, iron oxide and magnetite. And a little bit of sand, equal amounts of magnetite and sand. It's going to be, you know, in the whole mix that you're making there, you know, it can be like three tablespoons of sand and three tablespoons of uh, magnetite and a handful of iron oxide. And... Uh, you know, and mix, and mix that up with the good Gans water if you can, if you have enough Gans water to do that. Oh yeah, I got, I can do that. So um, I'm gonna put a little, oh, let's get some more magnetite. And usually you want to do about thirty percent. Is that what you recommend? Well, that would be the iron oxide would be. It, well, that's if it's cement, concrete. Uh, plaster doesn't need that because plaster is almost fifty-fifty on its own. You know, uh, and so it doesn't need a lot of extra metal to make it work. Okay. So I'm going to put a little bit of activated charcoal in there, too, which is a gaunt. Not much. Yeah. Not enough. You already got it. You know, I mean. A little like, bit of diatomaceous earth like you want it. Uh, yeah, yeah. 
Now I'm going to put a little bit of copper pieces. No, no, save that for the next. No, 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 no. Save that for the next layer. Okay. So I got this plenty of layer of fines. You want fines. This is fines. And then the next so, layer, we put the big stuff. Okay. Well, you want fines around the goodies. You want really fine material, you know, it's seed level right around the goodies. And then we right. put the bigger stuff in the next layer to broadcast it, to suck, to suck the, the, the information out mm. of the goodies and broadcast it. Yeah, I'm probably going to skip the glue because it probably just makes too much of a mess to clean up. But um, I I'm going to put some frankincense in here. Is that what you recommend? Whatever, yeah, actually, yeah. I mean, I already put a little bit in the other, but. You only need, yeah, it doesn't take very much at all. It's really phenomenal. I think I'm all out. <laughs> anyway, okay, that's all gone. What, all what right. a, one of the very first bubbles ever made, uh, the, you know, the, the problem has always been keeping the violet ray wands working and especially the older ones and the lady that made this very first bubble her violet ray wand was one of the 70 year old ones and they burn up pretty easily you know they get well they they stop you know they they get the, and they, but they don't burn up like the new ones they've got a, a different kind of a, a heat switch in them and uh, um and this lady, she put frankincense and some other, you know, uh, essential oil in on top of her bubble. And all of a sudden, that Violet Ray One ran forever. And the following day, there, her neighbor, her mother's neighbor, who had been a pain in the ass for 20 years, invited her mother out for her ice cream bar, her ice cream cone, hot day in California. You know, it changes people. This this technology changes people immediately, hours. Some some people it takes a lot longer than that. <laughs> she said that she had three ones, and all of them have run continuously for eight months. That's good, Mandy. Yeah, when, when you, you set the piece up so that the handle of the Violet Ray One can be on top of the piece, then the, 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 the capacitance uh, effect this absorbs the heat produced by the Tesla coil. And, and then the, 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 wand, the wands don't get hot, they run forever. Yeah, Starcat is a master builder of these. Uh, in fact, you know, Starcat, Wendy, if you have any suggestions, you know, lay them out there. Is she typing down her thoughts on the chat room? I wish you can speak with your microphone on, Starcat. Okay, so what I what I've been doing is just mixing it together here. So I have to be really I have to be very quick at this. Just make sure it all sets in a timely manner. It's really easy to overdo it here. So I'm putting my next layer plaster in here. Is that <clears throat> is that mixing jar glass or plastic? This is uh this is glass. I thought it might be. Okay. Okay. Try to give you a bird's eye view here. No, well, that's okay. Now, where's your? You gotta put your. Uh, you gotta put your. Uh, uh, that camera oh, with the crystal in it. You want that crystal pointed right at the goodies. Put it in there now. Yeah, uh, it was already in. It was at the bottom of the coil. Okay. Does, is there a wire coming out from it that you? Yes. Can Yes, it'll, come out, it'll come out of the piece entirely. Okay. Yeah. Although we probably just you probably just touch the violet ray wand through the top of the piece. That'll do it too. You know, but ultimately, with that wire coming out of there, you'll be able to hardwire it. Okay. Yeah. True. True. 
All right. Well, uh, I'm about halfway filled up, so I'm going to have to do some more layers like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now you put it bigger pieces of, of metal. We can put those copper chunks. All right. So, and you know, go ahead and just fill it all the way full. So, Mike, you want to share some more testimonials? I did. You don't have the chance to read what Sarkat wrote. She said, James, you're, you're doing amazing. She's going to be a powerhouse. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, does anybody want to come up with a, a good name for this, this one? Well, it'll name itself. It'll tell you. It'll hit you in the heart chakra. You'll, okay. you'll, say, you'll say you'll get the impression of such and such a name will come to you. And then you, 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 you speak that name out loud. And, you, and your heart chakra will answer you th that that's the name. There you go. And activate charcoal. You can use this. And magnetite. Yeah, you, you, you can use this, uh, uh, this technology to answer every question that you ever have in life. You, you, got, you got a question, you, you ask and you let your heart chakra answer it. Gotta be a yes or no question, though. Okay, so let me get some more Gans water. This is a living being. It is a genie. Uh, in in that it grants you wishes, you know, and in in fact, it grants you wishes that you forgot that you asked for. This happens to people, you know. Well, one of the other the most amazing things about the, uh, uh, the these bubbled up pieces is that they uh, uh, they reduce the power bill. If you ask them to, they'll reduce the power bill. You know, in your house, totally phenomenal. What well, what I just did is I took a little piece from my other one, my first one that I made, and put it in here. Isn't that something that we're supposed to do as well? Oh yeah, that should have been in the goodies. Oh, okay, well, it's, it's in there now. <laughs> yeah, I'll put it in the middle down there. Okay, I'm, I'm going to just go ahead and put some, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and mix this. So I'm, I, get, I think I'm, I'm going to mute my mic while I mix so somebody else can talk while I do this. Yeah, uh, well, you wanted to, uh, you know, things that happen with, that have happened in bubble tech. The main thing is controlling the weather. Since we started in May of last year, there has not been one single hurricane on planet Earth make landfall as a hurricane. The media lies, but if you check the, uh, uh, um, you know, like marine buoys and the, and the satellite uh, photos, you know, that you can access directly, uh, you know, the, these all of the hurricanes have converted to tropical storms. And uh, and that saved millions and millions of dollars, to, uh, and that and we've done that for free. And there's another crew that's doing the same thing, uh, uh, known as a translator crew, Harry Rhodes translator crew. They're doing very good work, also. But we stopped all hurricanes. Controlling the local weather uh, is boring for some of our people. <laughs> <laughs> especially, especially Vicky Mack down in down there Eastbourne. I mean, quite literally every day she comes up, cloudy. Okay, that's enough. Sunshine, and she's got the uh, the satellite showing they're right over her. All the clouds are parted. Everywhere else there's clouds, but over Vicky Mack, no clouds. <laughs> she, uh, and uh, what what else? Oh, so the big thing is that it, it runs off the flies, mosquitoes, rats, and mice. And, you know, that's huge. You know, it, and also uh, cops. And, it, and it, it is that 
it, it's another aspect of the predetermination aspect of design feature of bubble tech is that the dark side can't use it as a manifestation technology against us because it only works in euphoria and euphoria treats their bodies like a microwave they their cells are all imbued with fear and uh, and so when the euphoria starts supplanting that fear they they get really uncomfortable to the point we've seen rats sacrifice themselves you know and 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 people do too they 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 will start committing a few of them will have to commit suicide uh, you know, when, when we go to dream time, although when we, when we get to dream time, uh, everything will go bing in one instant, uh, there, there will be just like life or death. Uh, there will be a change to the uh, quantum leap to euphoria at the whole, everything's euphoric, the air shimmer, you'll be able to see through the veils. You'll be able to see the, the wee people. You'll be able to see the Sasquatch. You'll be able to see all the aliens. You'd be a little bit dismayed that to uh, find out how many people are watching us. <laughs> it's a goldfish bowl. <laughs> Mike, you just reminded me of something, and I put it. I put it in the chat. I've, I've meant to put it in uh, before and uh, haven't haven't done it, but uh, it's in there now. It's a uh, it's a Lemurian crystal. Oh yeah, you put something like that in the in the in the bubble tech. You know, in a bu bubble tech piece, and, and it amplifies it and mirrors it off and, and broadcasts it, ultimately, infinitely. Well, this this actually plugs in to, a, to an AC outlet. Uh, so it, it can be plugged into uh, either 50 or 60 hertz system, you know, 220 or 120, or whichever. It doesn't matter. Uh, you just have to, you know, if it's European, you just have to use an adapter. Unless they already have one that comes with it. I'm not sure if they do. So it's a Lemurian crystal, and how is it how is it connected to the wall? You just plug it in any outlet anywhere. I've got one plugged in the kitchen. I've had one in the kitchen for about three and a half years. And uh, then it fixes up all your food and water and everything right in the area, right? Yeah, uh, actually, I think I think it's what's to what it uh, it's what converted me to uh, to uh, vegetarian. You know, mm -hmm. I'm primarily a vegan and occasionally vegetarian but uh, I haven't had any meat for about three and a half years about the time I got it is when I quit eating meat now so but the electricity what, what does it is it just wraps around the crystal or what what's it do it actually it actually uh, it it um, well one of the things it actually can do it, it can reduce your your overall power bill mm-hmm yeah yeah we've seen that with bubble tech too I mean, yeah, but now, uh, but so what, what, how is the electricity connected to the crystal? Is there, is there an oscillator or anything in between? You know, what, what, how's, how's it connected? Well, I've, I've never taken it apart. It came, it came as a sealed unit. So I've never taken it apart because I figured if I took it apart, it might be, uh, uh, <laughs> I might somehow disable it and not be able to re enable it again. It's kind of like, uh, something somebody told me about years ago that uh, the American government was given a given a device one time that was uh, about the size of a pack of cigarettes and they were told that uh, that device could power the city of New York indefinitely and it, it was just about the size of a package of cigarettes and uh, of course they gave it to some scientific unit and they tried to cut it apart with lasers and smash it with a with the press and all kinds of stuff, and they finally disabled it, and it it never worked again. Hmm. Okay, so I'm doing the last layer. This I think will be the last layer. Um, more copper pieces. Uh. And I'm also going to put in some more diatomaceous earth. Some more activated charcoal. Magnetite.
How's the how's the layer setting up there? Uh, I can show you probably at this point. Well, no, just put your finger on it. Tell me. What? I will. Just can y'all see that? Yeah. Put your finger in it. Uh, oh, it's definitely hard. Okay. All right. Carry on. Hurry up. You got to get the <laughs> next player in there before you get a cold joint. You don't want it to stick to it. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, actually, I need more water. Oh, oh, I'm supposed to put sand in there, too. Don't want to forget that. Let's get some sand. Grab some water, real quick. Thing around the sand is magnetite. Mike, I've got a question for you. What would happen if you added some uh, some pure 100% uh, sodium hydroxide, which is a you know it's a grain cleaner. <laughs> no, I mean as, as far as a caustic action, there isn't anything that uh, that you can buy. Uh, well, I'm not even sure where you, where you can buy it. We can buy it here in California, but I'm not, you know, so I guess in Europe it's not so easy to come by. Well, it, it, everything gets converted by euphoria. It's uh, and either there's, you know, you can put you can put you can put nuclear radiation in it. <laughs> it will it will be converted. It'll actually use the energy and convert it to life force energy. It's really amazing. Well, now, sodium, I, well, sodium hydroxide has got a hell of a lot of energy because it'll 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 strip a drain in a matter of seconds. You know the pure stuff. Yeah. Sounds like a good idea. It needs to be tried. Now, um, I want to talk more about this Lemurian crystal. Where do you get these things? Uh, the website is. Uh, is in the in the chat there. They come out of um, Arizona. I don't recall the the town that they come from, but uh, they come out of Arizona. How much are they? Thirty five dollars. Thirty five bucks. Yeah. This I, this would be a really powerful thing to put inside of a bubble. You could you could you could test it. You could build a bubble and put it on the bubble and notice the difference in the in the power of the bubble. And then putting it in it will make it even that much more powerful. You know, it, what you got going on in the kitchen could be going on for the entire city block. <laughs> well, actually, this this uh, this particular uh, crystal it affects everything uh, around your perimeter of your house out to five feet. Mm -hmm. So it goes out sixty inches, you know, from the house and everything within the house, you know, from the roof to the to the flooring, basement, whatever you got. Now you put it inside of a bubble, it'll th then it'll cover, uh, well, the entire block, a uh, much larger area than that. And you, you start uh, control the weather and all that stuff. It'd be very easy. You know, I, this, uh, uh, this Plumerian crystal sounds like a super powerful piece to use in bubbles in general. Hey, Mike. I like it. Yeah. Hey Mike, hi, it's it's Starcat here. I got my uh, thing working. I have used um, the Mirians in my last three bubbles. This one, this one's connected to the wall somehow, Starcat. You know, and and they, 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 it goes through a box, but it, it, it's plugged in, and 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 you you know Riga in Estonia. I, I forget what he powered his bubble with, but it was something very, very powerful like this. And then when he touched the bubble, he went right into 2D. You know? I mean, he, uh, do you remember that? Do you remember his video saying that? Yeah, I do. That yeah, was crazy. Yeah. You know, do you remember what he powered it up with? I haven't, still haven't quite that. You know, I mean, but it's that kind of those kinds of things. We're gonna that they're the most advanced uh, aspect of bubble tech. Yeah, he does show on his video what he put in there. Yeah, you know, this 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 is a technology like like what Ron is experiencing with the crystal, where the crystal is fixing up everything around him. Then, what Riga is doing and using a Lemurian crystal may accomplish the same thing, is 
a technology whereby not only does it affect you, but it it converts you to a enlightened being. It puts you into 2D like that, you know, and it's, and it's, and it's like whether you want to or not, this will happen. We will get to that point with this bubble tech. Oh, that's fantastic. Hi, Socket. <laughs> It's Hi, so beautiful you, Crystal. With your microphone and your video. <laughs> I, fig I figured out how to use my little Android here. Um, it's, I'm really a Luddite when it comes to computer stuff, but I'm just really happy to be watching this with you guys. He's doing an amazing, amazing job. Yeah. Well, we're oh, yeah. Happy. We could see sure. you. you told okay. Me. Putting the last layer in, I think. I'm just going to try to make it level at the top. I don't know if you can well, see dome that. It, dome it. The make, make up a little bit more and dome it. Put a dome on top of it. You know, oh. make, a, make, make a thick set. You know, make stuff that's really quite thick, not a lot of water in it, so that you can shape oh. a dome on top. Well, I want it to look smooth on, on the top. If I, you I, got I, a spatula, you could probably scrape out what's left inside the jar. True. Um, okay. Yeah, get every little bit of that. It's important. <laughs> mm. Okay. Cool. So you can chamfer the sides. What you can do, you know, is you could just kind of, you know, create a little plateau, you know, and but with the sides angled chamfer, we call it in concrete. You put a chamfer strip in. We could make a little curly cue at the top and uh, like a little antenna sticking up. <laughs> I'm gonna do that actually, with you. You know what? That's actually a great idea to put a little extra blob of cement for your next pieces. It's easily taken off and powdered. Yeah, for distillation purposes. Yeah, you, you put yeah. a little blob on top of it. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I do. Well, the little blob on top of it should be, you know, have all of the the goodies in it if you can. That's a little bit for difficult sure. though. Huh? <laughs> when the, um, I, I noticed when I was watching your sorry when I was watching your videos that you were connecting up all your bubble tech ports <laughs> with your wired you wired them all up together right yeah yeah absolutely that's I have had all seven of them connected at one time and i also have them on top of mirrors and i also have them like and mirrors surrounding each one of them um it's just a matter of finding the right spot on my property for it you know to keep them from being outside um in the rain and stuff like that but uh <laughs> there is nothing like uh the feeling when you connect them together it's it's just compounded um, the, 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 each one of them, this, the beauty of each one, the specifics of each one that you make. That's the thing about this bubble tech is that forever and always you can make, um, like follow a basic template, but each and every one will be the most unique and amazing creation, just giving out healing energy of whatever you put in there. But then combining them all, it, that is something else. Well, yeah, you get the vision distortions and all the critters coming around and healings and all kinds of things. Mike, I've got more video I can put up of. I've got baby raccoons playing around my bubbles. <laughs> I've got deer. Yeah, I've got it all. It's great. Cool. What about you yourself, Socket? Do you have any uh, magical miraculous uh, healings or any third eye opening pineal gland something whatever <laughs> sensations that you got yourself oh um yeah like honestly it's changed everything that's why i'm so dedicated to this it's the fact that we can use this as like we are the creators of this we are the power of it is what has enabled me to feel like I'm actually accomplishing something with all of this now because I know it's based on scientific principles and metaphysical principles. So it's, it's a, like, it just can't be, it can't be beat. And 
the cool thing is that the um, dark forces cannot corrupt this technology. It can never be used for ill purposes. No dark entity can ever attach to it or program it or anything like that. So it's been the most incredible experience. Um, uh, my family, my, my daughter and I live here. The, 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 we've changed my neighbors, like the whole thing he talks about, it's true. Um, and it's and it's in subtle ways. I think sometimes people make the mistake of when you make a bubble, everything's going to be amazing from now on. You're never going to have issues in life again. But that's not the case. But you do have an amazing tool to help you in your community. And that's the difference. Oh, that's fantastic. It's very cool that you can come in and talk about it like this. Oh yeah, it's like I said, it's been the best thing that's ever happened, and I, I'm like bubbles for life. <laughs> I hope you all make one. It's so simple. We are. We're going to make one. Just waiting for the yeah, and you, it's you, you'll just you'll see that it's it's literally uh, it's when you make your first one, and then you realize what it is, and when you connect to it and feel it then each and every one after that is, is just the most unique and beautiful experience. Like each one, are, they're like children almost. Although, you know, they, they're a reflection of our heart chakra. So it's the highest of the high in you. You know what I mean? But each and every one has its own unique energy and its own unique signature and what it's best at. And that's why if you make more, you have like a huge contingency of power behind you. Wow. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah. So you have connected all your bubble type pots together. And so I have a question here. Would you would you be thinking of uh, disconnecting one or two pots to bring along with you when you go on holiday or you know, you go camping or you go honestly I, I, I honestly don't I feel very connected to them no matter where I am and um, you do like like I'm very energy sensitive and always have been but even folks that aren't you're still you're still protected by your bubble field wherever you are but if you're traveling you could take a little vial of powder with you you know that would work or just anything like that but for me I just literally will connect with each and every one of them uh, when I need to, or however I need to. Thank you. Okay, where's Mike? <laughs> I'm here. James? <laughs> Hanging out. My, Mike. Oh, it went back up, yeah. Mike, I just wanted to ask you um, how you were feeling these days. Yeah, I wanted to ask. Oh yeah, oh boy, the the pain, the pain all left my body. You know, that was there. You know, like, you know, from from uh, I don't know what you know. Old people, you know, get pain. You got to move real slow because of hurting. You know, that's gone away. So I can jump around and move around normal now. You know, except that the impingement hasn't gone, and so I get twinges in my groin and here, there, and you know, my butt. Stuff like that, and I, but, I get rid of them. But sorry, it, yeah, like, made the pain made the pain in my legs go just go away. Right. Yeah, I had a pretty strong uh, impression of you and my seven bubbles and I. We we did our little swing dance with you. It was great. Yeah. Cool. Oh, you yeah. Did. That that that. It, uh, Star Cat has has there ever has there been any more. Uh, uh, Tornadoes in in the United States that you're aware of? Not that I'm aware of, no. Yeah, and any that were, you know, scheduled for like the hurricane have all been downgraded. Yeah. So Starcat, when Mike was asking for a little help with the pain issues, you mean you got together and uh, said a prayer and asked your bubble tech to do a long distance healing for Mike? Did you say that? A hundred percent. A hundred percent. And anybody can come on and ask for any kind of healing or help for any situation. And you have a, you put a photograph up, which Mike did. Of course, we all know 
what he looks like and stuff, but it was a, a photograph that he wants us to imprint when he was younger so that he's connecting to his younger body where it was healthier or he didn't have as many issues. And we, and you know, there was literally probably a hundred comments for him and each and every one of us, and you don't, it doesn't even require a lot of time or anything. You just literally spend a few minutes, ask your bubbles, you picture the person, what they need, and then you do whatever, you know, comes from it. Um, you, you usually try to do a spin uh, clockwise. You know, my, each of my bubbles, um, genies represent themselves um, as images in my mind, like I can identify each one separately. So when they connect, I can connect with one or all of them in different ways, but they all were willing to help with our beautiful Mike, so he can keep uh, helping us all out there. I'm feeling good. Wonderful, well done. Wow, <laughs> I'm pleased to hear that. That's why Mike oh, was Chris saying that all the pain is gone. Yeah, and yeah Crystal, my, harem, my harem took it away. I'm sorry? <laughs> my harem took my pain away. Yeah. <laughs> But we've also, yeah, we've helped, um, you know, there's been quite a few folks who have written for help for all kinds of things. And they've responded, you know, with very, very positive outcomes. Yeah. Well, uh, there's been, there's been some really phenomenal healings, you know, but it's not repeatable. So we don't talk about it too much. It, it's going to get, it'll get more that way. The, the more bubbles we get, the, the more amazing things will be happening. Yeah, yeah. James, are you coming up with yours now? Uh, hi there, what's up? Well, we want to see you, you making yours. Okay. Yeah, so uh, I'm just letting it set right now. That's what it looks like. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, it's got, awesome. The, it's got the wire coming out. So what I, I've got over here is another violet ray wand so i'm gonna go ahead and open this up well, how many out. have you got now the violet ray one uh i've got four here you so have four one. violet ray wands yeah 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 one one is already on um behind me i don't know if i i didn't really introduce uh the device behind me but that's my first one that I made. And that's been running for about a month. And uh, since wow. I've had, yeah, since I've had it, like I said, I, I, I feel like I'm a little bit more intuitive and I also feel like I'm able to manifest a little bit better. Um, I mean, I still got a lot of problems in my life. That hasn't gone away, but it seems like it's a little bit less problems. Um, and the problems usually, there's new solutions for the problems that arrive a little bit quicker. Um, whereas in the past, you usually just some sometimes you feel like you get stuck in life. Uh, so, uh, by by the way, uh, James, where did you buy the Violet Ray? I got this off of eBay, and they were I think they were twenty five dollars with shipping. So I will show everybody what what it looks like when you open it up. Get a little closer. So you get the little wands. Uh, of course, this, I guess this is about 15 watts, I'm assuming. It'll work. The, the, the one from four hair loss is quite a bit more powerful, but uh, you know, they'll, these things work. <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, I, I, I prefer the wands that don't make a lot of noise. Mm -hmm. if, you, um, if you hardwire your wand, if you hardwire your wand with a insulated wire it's far less noisy than using the electrodes and oh. we discovered that using the hardwiring the wand also um, creates i think a stronger charge to the bubble because we've had some people who just used the glass electrodes and weren't feeling anything and then rewired it hardwired it with the, with the wire and reactivated the well if you will mike right so you, you you would put on like you you would put on full strength you would hardwire it meaning you would like just take this wire 
put it down in here. Oh, yeah, obviously, like you said. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, you just strip the edge off with an exacto blade or whatever and ball it up and stick it right in the wand, touching that metal screw in there and then taping it with electrical tape. And I just learned that from watching Mike's first ever video about making a bubble with, I believe her name was Christina. Yeah, and then just tape it down. Yeah, uh, in the uh, the, the best way to make a bubble project, there's all kinds of links to violet ray wands all over the world. You, know, you can get them. Most of them are made in China. These cheap ones. Yeah, I got mine cheap. Crystal, have you made a have you made a bubble? Um, Crystal, have you made one? Not yet, but I'm going to do so. I've been busy with gas and all that. I'm just waiting for materials to come in so I can start making one. Cool. Thank you. Some of those wines go for about 300 bucks. Yeah. Yeah, the, yeah, the ones that I bought were any, well, I'm in Canada, so it was between 45 and 55 Canadian. And like I said, they've been running continuously for yeah. eight months. Oh, I've got I've got one here. <laughs> oh, that looks good. I I bought it for um uh, very cheap. I told Mike that I got it for only about uh sixteen pounds something, right, Mike? It's not even yeah. seventeen pounds. Yeah. So. I ordered a couple of those cheap ones because they're, they're handy, you know. Yeah. The, the 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 big expensive ones are what you want to use for long term, but the, you know you can always find something to do with these little ones. Uh, and here is an old one. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice one. Yeah, <laughs> it's a nice one. Yeah, it looks yeah. good. Yeah, it looks like a Rolls Royce compared to mine, like a mini one. <laughs> and a lot of folks, when they see those devices, they kind of wonder, like I have when I was bubbling up the foundation of my house, and I have I work from home and I have clients come and they see this kind of odd shape uh, device and they're kind of wondering what I'm doing with it. It's quite funny because they can be used for for pleasurable things for folks that are into that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was going to say that. <laughs> Mike did say that. <laughs> Yeah, the, it's it's not my jam, that's for sure. But I don't judge, but I wouldn't want that anywhere near any uh, <laughs> parts that are sensitive. That's for sure. And James ordered four, James. <laughs> <laughs> Casey breaks one. <laughs> Okay, so it's hardwired right now. Um, so I guess uh, I just leave it on indefinitely. Uh, you can hear the hum. I, I've got it on a high setting, but I mean, typically I would have it on lower. No, no, you turn them up all the way. The 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 weak part of the uh, violet ray one is a heat sink that's right next to the resistor that is used to turn it up or down. And the more you turn it down, the hotter the resistor becomes and it heats up that heat sink. And that, and that heat sink then turns off the, the violet ray one or it breaks entirely. You know? And that, that's the weakest link in the violet ray one right there. And that's in the, in the base of the handle. And, uh, and so that's why you want to try to get the whole handle laying on top of the, of the bubble piece. Ooh. All right. Well, especially when you're first starting up. So you, obviously you got to wait till it. Uh, uh. Hey, James. James, how are you feeling now that you've completed your bubble? Your second uh, bubble. Well, I mean, I feel like uh, like less dense, like a sense of heaviness kind of goes away. It's like that worry and that stress that's always like 
at the back of your mind what do you got to do next that kind of just like dissipates a little bit I mean it's still there but it doesn't feel like it's uh, affecting me emotionally as much uh, that's that's, awesome. I mean, that's the best way I can describe it um, I mean when I first turned on my first unit the first what I remember um, the most is how that uh, I would feel a lot better meaning happier joyful I guess uh, so it's almost like in our lives we get so busy with everything we just kind of get caught up in the stress and then we don't realize that um, because we're always dealing with stress that our lives are not really that happy and joyful <laughs> um, most of right. us anyway uh, so um, when I turned it on I, I kind of like that that part of it kind of just went away a little bit so I mean I still got the same issues and problems we deal with but it just it's, it's, I'm, I'm more I'm more positive is what I'm trying to say so it helps that's with awesome. more positive that's awesome yeah and I, I felt too like like you were saying like you kind of time you just come right you come right to the moment and you can exist in the moment without like in a pure more just natural way like you don't have to be involved with all the, the voices in your head and all that energy around and all that the bubbles help us stay present in our own power I think hey like yeah did you, did you feel that did you feel that bubble just now uh, power up me yeah. Oh, well, yeah. I've been, that's why I asked him how he was feeling because it's pretty juicy. Yeah, but it it's gone in leaps. It, it did another leap just a little bit ago. Okay. I I I'm turning. I just turned it off because I wanted to. Um. It the wires were touching the uh, table, so I was kind of hoping I could because it's not like you said it's not insulated wire. Uh. I mean, I was initially just going to use the Violet Ray wands. I think they, they look pretty, and uh, that's why I, I, I just keep Is it uncoated wire, or does it have a yeah, resin on it? It's uncoated. Okay. Yeah, James, just be careful. Don't, if you touch it, <laughs> or get if you go by or anything like that, you'll get a nice shock of capacitance for sure. Yeah. I'm getting shocked as with touching the clay pot. Yeah. I hate to. I would not want to touch that wire right now. Oh no, God! No. No. Well, it, it won't. It won't hurt you. It'll. It'll just shock you, but it won't hurt you. <laughs> so there it is. Uh, cool. Yeah. When when I uh, took it up, when I took the wire off the table, I didn't make as much noise. So I'll just uh, go put this somewhere for. Here. Oh. Oh. I also got a heat lamp, but. Um, they're they're just powered up again, Starcat. Did you feel that? Yeah, it's it's amazing. And and I was just thinking, like, are you um James, are you going to attach it eventually to your other bubble just to see what you can feel from that? Well, I don't really know how to I mean, can you see my other I mean I can bring my other bubble Do you see this? Kinda. Yes, we can. Two pipes sticking up the copper pipes. Yeah, so it's got two copper pipes. So there's no wires that are coming out of it. If I watched some of your old videos, Mike, when I made this, I didn't realize there was you updated the uh, the recipe. But uh, the old one had two pipes, and uh, so I just put the violet ray wand between the pipes. Oh, that's amazing! Hey, yeah. James, did you get a name? Did you get a name for that one? Uh, no. Okay. Well, this, oh, this cool. that, 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 made, awesome. that made a big difference when he put that. That's an organic piece that's on top of those pipes, and it immediately blew him away. You know, as soon as he put it up there, because the pipes go into it, and then they broadcast it. Hey, Mike. Hey, Mike. Um, if you do happen to make a piece with pipes, like some people still do, I don't understand why, but they do. If you put on a Janessa crystal on top or a tensor ring or even like a, like a generator quartz, does that help broadcast the energy in more of a bubble field rather than the direction, which is why we don't use the pipes? 
Yeah, of course it would. You know, uh, but uh, I, I don't know. Well, I can't possibly do it as well as a bubble piece would, obviously. You know? Right. The, the, the Genetza crystal is a really nifty effect thing, but it doesn't seem to have the uh, uh, really magical effects that we can do just with plain old bubble material, you know? Yeah, right. I just mean that if someone does have pipes, would it help make it a, a, a more broadcasting piece if they do use something like that? Yeah, yeah, of course it helped that. Uh, it did help broadcast quite a bit. You know, uh, the the thing to do if they can on their pipes is do what James did: is you have another organic piece, you put it right on top. Right. You know? That 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 that's that's how Martha is. There's six copper pipes, but they're real short, and there's a a dome concrete piece on it that's pretty good size. Martha's really quite large. <laughs> See, <laughs> Weighs about 150 pounds or something like that. I don't know what the size of her is, but she's big. Yeah. Wow. And uh, uh, and so yeah, it's, it's a blasting machine. <laughs> so James, too, James, you can you can now because you have the pipes in your first bubble, and you have a un um, like insulated copper wire attached hardwired into your wand. You can actually wrap some of it around your first bubble pipes and have it connect to your second one. Do you know what yeah, I mean? Right. You'll figure a way. You can fire them up. You can fire them up both with one one doing that, and you want to do that because you get the intentions from the first one going into the second one, and then you know, I mean, you get really the much more significant effect by having the two of them connected. Okay, so I really don't need two wands if you got two bubbles. No, you just keep one spare and, and connect them up, you know, and connect one wand to the two of them, because then okay. you, you want that anyway, because it. Uh, you can use this. Well, you could lay it on. You could lay that. That, that will it? Will they? Will the? Will the wand lay on top of the one with the pipes? Uh yeah. I mean that's what I was doing because I see. I'll show you. Hmm. I don't know that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you could do that to both of them, but it, it it'll 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 really power up if you take and connect them up, hardwire them both together. Yeah, it doesn't really touch those pipes. I probably should put the pipes close to the other. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, there's a there's a way I can get it to touch those pipes, but I gotta I have to like pull this out here and put something underneath it. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll try this other method. Um, and the way that you start getting the magic, bro, is doing intentions. You send euphoria to Mother Earth. You send euphoria to the air, the water, to everything around you. And then once you've, you know, emptied your brain of everything that you can think of to help, then you start asking for yourself. And then it starts working. Maybe, I, I, like, oh, ask, what, ask for what for myself? You didn't euphoria to your business, euphoria to whatever you want to fix. Oh, okay. that's simple. Well, how about this? I, I asked that we uh, get Nasara. <laughs> get what, Nasara? Yeah, Nasara and the RV. I think it's going to happen on Monday. Oh, oh. well, huh. we're going to work. <laughs> Everything is what past, present, future, same time. The so, you know, my people, I'm, you know, I'm a Cherokee, you know, and, and the I know the elders. They and uh, they've they've been gone for forty two days. There's other there's other people like that, you know, at that level that have gone. They've, they've been gone for forty two days. Here, everything everybody's disappeared. Somebody's phone's ringing. Appears, What's that? There's music music in the background. Somebody's it's either a phone or. Couldn't you hear some music in the background? Yeah, there's definitely yeah. music in the background. Turn it off. <laughs> Not me. I guess it's. Oh, there you can hear you by the way, one. You, you can hear it through the. Okay. Just, I got shit. <laughs> <laughs> right 
Oh wow. Yeah, of, oh wow. It's really I, I think me. it jumped into the microphone because it's like near there. I hope it's not gonna mess up the electronics. <laughs> hey, I'm curious. You I see you've got gorilla glue there. Uh, I tried gorilla glue and did not have good results with it. How how have yours been? Uh I mean it it foams and spreads, so I mean uh it depends on like what, what you're trying to bind together. Uh mostly it, it, it doesn't it doesn't really two pieces of metal don't seem to work too well for gorilla glue. Uh yeah, you you probably need epoxy for that. Um somebody's muting everything okay. Okay. All right. Well, does anybody have any other questions or anything else you want to? I guess. Uh, I can okay. hear music in the background. Okay. Uh, I still hear music. Ha ha, Boa, that's a funny one. Okay. Who is? Oh, wow. I messed up those lyrics pretty bad. Who's doing that? Your bubble. Ask you to, uh, to print the audio. Yeah. But they, uh, Sorry. Uh, doing your intentions, you know, uh, it, every day, preferably, but <laughs> at least once a week, you know, we're in your bubble field. You know, you, you know how to do the intentions telepathically? No. How, how do we do the, the intentions? Oh, you have to read about it. There's an essay and a video that explains how to do it. And you look in the file section, and you see you'll see the list of intentions and how how to do them. Uh, and the breathing is all important. So uh, you know because you build up your own chi, and then you you euphorically use your chi. To install the feeling you want, which is euphoria, as well as the image that you want to change, you know, like the weather, you know, hurricanes and things like that, you know, and then also your whatever your finances, your relationships, your car. You want Star Cat fixed your car? <laughs> you know, there are some Mike that believe that. Uh... The way to go is to believe that uh, the change has already occurred, that you're not looking at it. Yeah, the, right. It happens in now. That, yeah, it, 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 you're, you're working with the now. You know, like Eckhart Tolle always says, uh, there is nothing but the now. Nothing else exists. There is no past. There is no future. Well, unfortunately, there is. But uh, when you're only, doing that. Only, only in this in this timeline, in this, uh, in this dimension, yeah. Because that's what we live by. But the rest of the universe, uh, it doesn't exist that way. The rest of the universe is a hoax. There's only there's only one there's only one set of dreamers that dream the entire universe into being, and that's us idiots. Yeah. How it, it's it's very clear, you know, that, that that the Earth is the center of this universe, and thence the multiverse. And that we are, we have dreamed everything out there into manifestation, and that we dreamed it into manifestation occurs every microsecond. And then the way that we've dreamed it has been by uh, making a movie. We, we, crews of us collect, you know, 100 idiot effect always applies. You get enough people believing in a whatever it is, and that bit of consciousness becomes what we consider to be matter. So, but also it is a bit, bit, a bit of consciousness that has been organized uh, by a bunch of your favorite idiots. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, but this this whole everything what what goes on here in this skid mark in this entire universe is seriously idiotic everything out there runs is a computer program you know that that is manifest from here everything out there is a, is a computer simulation all runs according to fibonacci series everything
percentage of us, of the stuff that we've got going in our sub collective subconscious. You know, and we have installed things like the carbon oxygen antagonism. You know, you have a blank sheet here every microsecond. Excuse me, whose bullshit idea was the carbon oxygen antagonism? This is the root of violence here. Uh, oxygen destroys carbon. Thinking creates violence and broadcasts it because of the organic gap and the synaptic gaps. It's exactly like bubble tech. It does the same thing. That's what your brain does. It radiates bullshit every time you start using it. Whatever you're thinking, it's wrong. <laughs> this is a bubble, and I guess we're going to try to work uh, to, to manifest uh, Nasara and uh, Euphoria or all around the world. And I just want to say thank you, Mike, and uh, also Starcat Wendy, for uh, all the work that you've done to help bring this out. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to keep my bubble running. And uh, I'm here in Charlotte, North Carolina. So I'm going to send my Euphoria over to the banks because this is one of the, this is the second largest banking center in the United States. Um, and uh, maybe we can do some transmutation on that that frequency as well. So. Yeah, there you go. Okay, blessings. Have a good one. Yeah, and I would like to then uh, close the meeting and go around the table. Anybody wants to ask any question or anything like that that, that would uh, help you with your own making of your own bubble tag? Okay, right. So, then yes. hi, it's Wendy. Hi, Wendy. Hi, I just wanted. Hi guys, I wanted to say thank you all also for all of your beautiful energy out there and all you're doing to help us all. Thanks guys. Thank you Wendy for coming in Thanks, with babe. us and uh, giving us some tips and talking about the uh, euphoria and everything that the uh, your bubble tag has been making a difference to your life. That is so wonderful to hear. And Mike, we thank you, you know, most of all for bringing this technology into the planet to, to help us sail through it, the difficult times and everything that we're going through here with the technology. Uh, we truly, truly am, uh, uh, well, we are really, truly grateful to you for doing this for all of us. And James, thank you so much for making it step by step so every one of us could follow how it can be done. And you did it all in one session. Well done. Bravo. <laughs> I think next will be Dario, right? You'll be doing yours. <laughs> have you got all the, uh, Dario, have you got all the uh, ingredients and the materials to start making yours? Yeah, that's the other thing. You send euphoria to your body, you know, and uh, uh, in, in case of James got his hair in, in, in the piece. Oh, yeah, and I forgot that. You get that. euphoria installed permanently in the piece you know, euphoria sent to your body, that then you're, you'll get younger. You'll start looking younger. Wow. Oh, James is young enough. To what? James, you didn't show us that you added, you added the, the hair and the fingernails in there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that, that went in there with the mix uh, with the, the beads. You put the little amethyst and the shungi. You got the sand, a little bit of charcoal, just a little bit, mixed all together, put that right down. Um, right after your first layer near the quartz crystal, and then you cover all that up. Where is the, where's Mike's, uh, I'm sorry, Crystal, yeah. you, you said that Mike, it's on Mike's website that the recipe, how to create them? Is that correct? It's on the link that I put up on physics website when Mike's name is mentioned and, and uh, in several points where we describe uh, what Mike's talking about. So it's it's there on the website. You just click, hover your mouse over it, and the link okay. will start, just click on it, and it will come up, and you will see that uh, the instructions. The best way to start a bubble project. The best way to start a bubble project. Yeah. OK, thank you so much. You're welcome. You get the link by and by. All right. So. Thank you so much, everyone. There being no other business, uh, this meeting is now being adjourned to 
the next meeting, that is the 68th district meeting, that will fall on the 4th of September. Yeah, the first Wednesday of the month. Do join us, folks. That's the plan, folks. <laughs> and thank you so much for being with us, for choosing to be in this meeting. Uh, Mike uh, and Park at Wendy. Uh, so lovely to have you here with us and talking and showing yourself on video as well and uh, giving a lot of tips to all of us to making our own pack. All right. So thank you, thank you, beautiful Crystal. Thank you for all you've done too. Thank you so much. It's nice to see you finally. Wendy, it's lovely seeing you. All right, Mike. Thanks a lot for everything. Bye for now. We'll see you. Next all right. Time. Bye, guys. Bye.